Cam we great, you know, uh, truth be told, I haven't fought, uh, fought or sparked at Southpaw in three years. So uh, the first part of camp was kind of challenging for me, for my mind just to convert back over to uh, a Southpaw mentality. And uh, it was a success, you know, my, my, I adjusted very quickly, very fast and, uh, and, and have fun. We had a, a great camp, we had a lot of great guys in the camp that made it interesting that made it fun for me. And um, I'm looking forward to the fight, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm always in shape, so I can't never say that I'm in the best shape of my life because every day I am. You know, that's one of my things I've always said in my career, I'm always in shape. And I really mean it and uh, I can't wait. January the 16th. Did any of that concern you that he'll be in very good physical shape too and not just boxing? No, that don't, that don't concern me at all. You know, I want all my opponents to be in tip top shape. I want them to be in better shape than I, you know, if that's possible. I don't think that's possible, but if that's possible, I want them to be in better shape than me. So when I whip them, I don't want no excuses. I don't want them to have an excuse that um, they had any kind, of, any kind of health issues or any kind of body issue that, 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 that caused them not to perform to their best of their ability. You know, I'm very confident what I'm coming to do and what I will do. And, um, that's just, and the words will be announced and still heavyweight champion of the world. So Spilk is all smiles right now. He is enjoying himself out there. Is he just enjoying his moment because of what your belt brings? I mean, he should be in, in, enjoying the, the, the atmosphere. He should be enjoying the moment. He should be capturing everything that, that, uh, that is coming to him. I mean, the guy's getting attention, you know. Um, for one, he getting um, the opportunity to fight for a heavyweight title of the world. You know, many guys live up to this they, they dream of this opportunity, this, this time to, to fight for a title, but many guys don't make it. And um, he's been blessed um, by mistake to be able to fight for a world title. So um, he should enjoy and soak it all in and, and, and just take heed of it because it's only going to be for a short period of time. All that goes away for him come Saturday night. You got, uh, you got Glasgow and Martin here too. This is... It's the most exciting heavyweight time that we've had in New York and in Brooklyn for a long time. Uh, what do you think this means to the division? It means a lot. You know, um, heavyweight division is definitely becoming much more each and every time exciting. You know, um, being that I'm in New York, um, breaking, breaking my, my, my talent here, um, my debut here, you know, it makes history because for one, it's having been a, a world title fight dealing with heavyweights here in 115 years. And uh, I'm about to break that streak right come Saturday. And then I get to add my name to all the great champions that came before me. New York has such a beautiful history of heavyweight boxing, you know, and um, I'm just happy to be able to come here finally, you know, the media capital of the world and display my talent among all the people that's here and gain some Polish fans at the end of it as well. Man, we're happy to have you here. Uh, lastly, last night, Alabama overcame some adversity, and then they did what they always do, which is finish. Is that just resembling of uh, what Tuscaloosa does? Almost definitely. You know, Tuscaloosa is titled as title town. And um, that's what we do. We produce champions, and we bring back the title. You know, uh, the resemblance that what Alabama done, and, what, and, and, and for me, what I'm about to do is, the number, and that number is 16. They have won their 16 national championship. Not only this 2016, but I will be fighting January the 16. So now it's my turn. I reglamps on the time where this time last year where they fought Oregon, but they end up failing. But I end up still in prevailing and became the champion. But this time around they pulled through. Now it's my turn to pull through for my city as well as my state as still the heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder.